Right, I tell you any chance and welcome to the show. I heard some interesting news today about the 7920X 12 core Core i9 from Intel. Apparently, it's going to be clocked at 2.9 gigahertz. So, just have a listen to this. Wait, 7920X? Oh, no, wait, they did it. Oh, holy smokes, it's on the price list. So, the base clock of the 12 core part, I don't, I swear, I don't think they've disclosed this publicly, is 2.9 gigahertz. I don't know what the boost is, though. They don't, I'll have to, my god, I'll. Okay, so that is a $1,200 part, the 7920X, and it's gonna be clocked at 2.9 gigahertz. Now, actually, if you go to Intel's website, doesn't say anything here. That was from PC World's Full Nerd Podcast. I'll leave links in the description where you can download that podcast, and also I'll leave a link to their YouTube channel. So if they're correct, that means the 7920X 12 core is gonna be 2.9 gigahertz. If it scales the same way as the 7900X does, it will boost to around 3.6 gigahertz. So if you compare that to Threadripper here, you've got the 12 core, 3.5 gigahertz at $800. Intel 12 core part is $1,200. Now you're talking 2.9, it will boost, so it'll probably be around 3.6 gigahertz, maybe. 3.4 3.4 we don't know at the moment but let's just say 3.4 3.6 whatever this ryzen threadripper 1920x will boost up to 4 gigahertz now that's probably single core under like the best conditions it won't boost that much all cores if we look at the ryzen processors the 1700 1800 it'll probably burst all cores at around 3.6 gigahertz so they're going to be around the same clock speed all cores bursting so you've got one eight hundred dollars you got the intel one at $1,200. So this is a good kick in the nuts for Intel. So screw you Intel for ripping us off for so long. I'm really happy with, with these Threadripper prices and hopefully they just wipe the floor with Intel for ripping us off so long. And it's great to see this competition. And then for $999, $200 cheaper than the 7920X 12 core Intel part is the 16 core Threadripper. So that is amazing. And one thing to note is that the 7920X will have the higher IPC. So if they burst at the same clock speed all cores, the 1920X and the 7920X, the Intel will still be faster because it has higher IPC or better IPC. It still won't be a match for the 1950X 16 core Threadripper and it's $200 more. So it's just like a no brainer. This 7920X is just a Xeon rebranded. Like the 7900X that was built from the ground up to be an enthusiast Core i9 product. This one here is just the rebranded server part. This is just the rebranded Xeon. They weren't intending to release this until Threadripper come out. And really the best part they have is the 7900X. These are all just gonna be Xeons. So if you want more than 10 cores, just definitely go to Threadripper. Forget about the Intel. I can't wait to get my hands on Threadripper. And until next time guys, tally ho.